Hello, my name is Frankie. I'm a home-based business owner and network marketer. And today I'm going to discuss having a job versus a network marketing business. So from a child up to adult, the educational process, particularly in America, is designed to teach and train people how to get a job and to go work for somebody. And you have to look at the origin of, of that. You had um, some powerful individuals, some families that got together and they established, I don't want to call no names, but they established the educational system here in America. And the whole objective of, when, of the educational system when they put it together was to teach and train people on how to educate themselves. And then once they ascertain their education, then they come work for them or the other people small group of elite people that also had business. So the objective of the entire educational system now is to let you let you go to school, let you get educated, then you come work for individuals. The educational system is not set up and designed to teach and train us how to be entrepreneurs. If you want to be an entrepreneur, then that comes with, a, you know, you have to learn it on your own. You know, some you have to get with somebody else and get you some additional training, on how to become um, an entrepreneur because most of the time you're not going to get that kind of knowledge in school. So the problem with working, no, don't get me wrong, I think we all need to work a job, especially if you come from type of environment I come from, low-income environment, man, one of the first and fastest ways for you to get money, to get quick money, is to get your job. You trade um, hours and time for a paycheck. So that's the quickest way for you to get some money. But my problem is, is when, People continue to work a job over and over again for 40, 60 years, and they don't create nothing for themselves, and then they just retire with just a pension or just a Social Security check. You know, you shouldn't just sell your future out like that. So there's nothing wrong with a job, but while you're working that job, then you should use that job to build something for yourself. I've always been that way. Even when I was working a job, I'd be like, if I need some extra income, I'm not going to work no overtime on that job. I'd rather do something for myself on the side to generate extra income. But getting back to the job, one of the, one of the main problems with a job is you no know, financial security. There is a ceiling to how much money you can make. Um, only so many people going to go to the top. Only so many positions at the top. And you got to wait till somebody retire or somebody die for you to get one of those positions. So you always going to be limited in how much money you can make. It's a set salary. I don't care what it is. You can be a doctor, lawyer in a lot of places or whatever you're doing. Anesthesiologist, physical therapist is all, it's a set amount of money in that occupation to how much money people going to make. You know, there are some exceptions, but for the most part, these type of professions, you can go look it up on the Internet, pay, pay this type of money. For most people. So it's always going to be a financial cap as far as how much money you can make. And when you do it, when you work a job, you're building somebody else's dream. First, you lose your creative mindset because you're not trying to build anything for yourself. Second, you're building somebody else's dream. You're helping somebody else take care of their family. You know, you're building their dreams, not your dreams. You're not leaving anything behind for you, your spouse, and your family. You're just working a job and building somebody else's reality. And now things are so bad. Now how they lay people off and don't want to hire enough employees. They have you doing your job description. They have you doing more work than you should be doing. And you're not being compensated for the amount of work that you put in. You're multitasking. You're doing your job, somebody else's job. But then at the same time, they cutting the amount of money that you're working. They got everybody multitasking. But you're not getting paid for your efforts and not getting paid for the work that you're putting in. And the thing about it is that there is no job security. If you look in America, man, companies are closing down every day or companies are laying individuals off, you know, or like I said, they overworking you because they lay or they fire somebody, don't, they don't replace them. So, so corporate America has a lot of issues right now. In my opinion, I retired from the Memphis Police Department in Memphis. So the thing, so the thing is, and it was great because I had the opportunity to get a pension. However, it seemed like to me more and more companies are getting to the point to where they don't want people to retire from jobs anymore. 
So they seem like they're doing everything they can to prevent people from retiring, staying with a company 20, 25 years. Seem like they want you to come there five years, you move on, they hire somebody else. I mean, these companies have a lot of a lot of turnover rate because of the work environment. So to me, corporate America is just having a regular nine to five job is just unstable now. So I, just, I and I've always believed that you should have multiple streams of income. So just by just you know going somewhere and depending on just a job and you're going to be there uh, 40 to 60 years, that's not a wise decision. You need to be working on multiple streams of income. Now, what are the benefits of starting a business with network marketing? And you get a chance to be your own boss, start your own business. There is no limit to the amount of money that you can make in network marketing. There's no limit. It's based on your skill set. It's based on your work ethic and how much work you want to put in, your influence, your network. So it's based on you. Nobody can put a cap on how much money you make. Um, like I said, you're your own boss. Um, you set your own schedule. You work your own hours. You have the ability to make money online. You can make money from your home or you can make money from anywhere in the world when you get with a network marketing company. And you can use your creative mindset to build something for you and yourself to leave your family, to leave your family something. You know, when you successful in network marketing, you retire from network marketing, that money you can you can when you retire or something happened to you, it goes to your family. And to be honest with you, 75 percent or more of the millionaires in this country. They're they're business owners, they're entrepreneurs. Rarely you meet individuals that are six figures, six figure earners or or millionaires that work a nine to five job for somebody else. Most of them are entrepreneurs. You get a lot of tax benefits when um, when you start your home based business with network marketing. And one of the best things about network marketing is that um, you get a chance to start a traditional business. I would listen to somebody. They was like the average traditional business. People are going out getting three hundred thousand dollar loans, and then they not and if it if they not seeing a, a profit from those businesses unless until like five years, you know, and there's a lot of risk with that with those type of investments. So so one of the best things about network marketing, you don't have to invest that type of money in order for you to start a home based business, especially when you knew you have no clue what you're doing. You don't have to invest a lot of money. You know, when you start with the company, you get access to awesome products. The products have been branded. Um, you leverage. You might be in business for yourself, but you're not by yourself. They got training programs. They got leaderships. They want to see. You. They got. They want to see you. Network marketing companies want to see you be successful, because their success depends on you being successful. So that's another benefit. You ain't got to worry about starting a merchant account to process credit cards. They do all that for you. No, so if you have bad credit, you wouldn't be able to get a merchant account to process orders if you're trying to start your own business. So that's not an issue. They're gonna ship your orders for you if returns. They're gonna handle. They're gonna handle returns. You ain't got no employees. You don't have to worry about dealing with a lot of a lot of paperwork. To me, network marketing is the best way to start a home-based business, particularly when you're new. And if you decide later on that you want to go into a traditional business brick and mortar store, then that's fine. But for somebody that's never been in a business, never had a business before, then I think network marketing is one of the best ways for you to start a home-based business. And for those that say, well, you know what? If you start a um, if you start a, a network marketing business, it's not your business. Um, you're working for the company. I disagree with that. I mean, your email list, the leads that you get from your blog, the leads that you get from your YouTube videos, your network is your network. You simply may find products that you like. You just using the network marketing company and their products as a tool to make money. But it's your business. They're your leads, your customers. It's your business. If you go to Walmart, if you go to Kmart, if you go to Target, they don't manufacture all the products that they sell. Walmart don't manufacture all the products that they sell. Grocery stores like Kroger's or whatever, they don't make all the products that they sell. 
They have products that come from different manufacturers and they sell them in their store. There's no different. You have a network of people that you spend time building through blogging, through networking, going out here, talking to people through your email list, through doing mail outs or whatever marketing effort you use. That's your that's your network. They like trust and respect you. So they buy from you as a result of knowing you. So that's your business. You just using the you just using the products from the network marketing company. And they can add value to your to the people within your network and you selling it. But that's your business. So I just think it's erroneous for people to say, oh, man, you in network marketing. And you don't own the business. Yes, you do own the business. Like I said, you own your leads. So I want to close on this. If if you've always thought about um, sign, uh, starting a home based business. Then I'll leave a link below on my blog. You can find out um, what products I sell, what company I'm with. Um, the company I'm with right now, you can start a home-based business for $49 a year. You get your website. Um, you get your, your business starter kit. You get access to awesome products. And like I said, um, it's one of the best ways for you to uh, start making uh, network markets. one of the best ways for you to start making money from home. I want to thank you for taking time out to watch my video. Don't, for, don't forget to subscribe to my video and um, check out my blog post below. Thanks for watching my video.